In this video, we're going to talk about how the Scorched are stripped and how the heroes without powers are adapting to a new life since Spawn issue number 350. Alrighty then, this is a comic book review of The Scorched, issue number 27, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. So previously in The Scorched, Nyx has ascended the throne of hell and banished Spawn and The Scorched back to Earth. Jessica and the team now find themselves powerless. So a few months ago, earlier, this is what would have happened if assassins came after Jessica Priest and Mark Rosen. Her suit would have instinctively protected her from bullets, transforming her into She Spawn, while Mark would have became Medieval Spawn. And the assassins might have lived long enough to give up the identity of their employer. But this didn't happen because several months ago, She Spawn and Medieval Spawn lost their powers. The spread of the dead zones across the earth has now rendered everyone with abilities originating from heaven or hell powerless. And that's a reference to Spawn issue 350. Well, come on now, if you guys follow this channel, you know damn well you checked out Spawn issue 350 on this channel. But if you haven't, yo bro, you gotta check it out. It is definitely insane. But now Jessica Priest's suit is dormant and the presence of Medieval Spawn is no longer in Mark's head. It's like a shadow has lifted as if he can finally live his life again. So they grab coffee and get some ice cream and walk in the park. Then the shot rang out and Jessica Priest's costume wasn't there to protect her. She gets hit and Mark Rosen is acting on habit. All he can do is reach for his helmet that he previously used to summon Medieval Spawn, but Medieval wasn't there. But though, his helmet did manage to save his life. So Jessica Priest is losing a lot of blood. It might have hit an artery, leaving them no choice but to run for it. So they run into the alleyways. Their chase was long, but they finally lost their pursuers in an alley, not far from the place Spawn once called Rat City. Jessica lost consciousness while Mark stayed hidden until he was sure their pursuers were off their trail. But two things were clear. One, everything was different now, and two, the Scorched were being hunted. But weeks later, the Scorched were still being hunted. Today's target, Daniel Kilgore, AKA Haunt. He used to be a priest. His brother, Kurt, used to be an operative for the Covert Intelligent Agency, the CIA, AKA known as the Agency. But then his brother got himself killed, which we did cover in Haunt issue number one, how his brother did get killed. And it was pretty brutal, by the way, making them both loose ends and the agency boss doesn't tolerate loose ends. So ever since the Scorch had been on the move, using safe houses from Jessica Priest's past life as a government black op soldier when she was under the command of Jason Wynn. So now these helicopters, they go in on the hunt and they unleash all the fury that they can from those helicopter bullets. But you know, it's just not enough. So the Scorch decided it was time to turn the tables and they go in, they attack. Nah, bro, I'm sick of y'all trying this. We a team, we doing this. We ain't samples to be trying like that. We going in like that. So Jessica Priest asked Hunt for a status report. Everything's under control, says Hunt. Okay, she's good. As mentioned earlier, only those whose powers derived from heaven or hell were affected, making Haunt one of the most dangerous heroes alive because in the Haunt storyline, his suit is ectoplasm. It's not derived from heaven and it's not derived from hell. We don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but it ain't heaven or hell related. So he still can rock with it and he can rock with it heavy. So Jessica Priest tells Mark that they need a surveillance intel, deploy the drones to Eastern Sector. And Mark is just out of it because I don't know if he feels like he's just not all there or feeling off balance because he can't get medieval spawn summoned or whatnot. So Jessica Priest is like, yo man, get it out your head. We don't have time to feel sorry for ourselves. Listen, I know you're having a hard time with all this, want to medieval spawn out of your head, but I see he's gone. All Mark can say is, hey man, things are feeling off balance and it's getting worse. So Jessica Priest told him, I told you, we try to find out what What's happening to medieval but we need to stay alive to do that we need to stay alive because someone's making their play on us and we need to find out who it is they got us all running around like chickens without a head or something like that so for now send the drones I want to see what's happening to hunt she'll find out sooner or later that hunt was telling her the truth that everything was under control though they've all been compromised right now but that was the plan leave a trail for the enemies to follow then draw them in close to ambush them scorch could then start doing their own hunting so mark is like okay make the call but whatever means necessary so jessica priest makes the call to the redeemer and redeemer's like yo targets are down but more is coming and the worst thing is whoever this unknown enemy is he isn't opposed to sending human agents to their own slaughter creating another layer of yo just masking the true identity of whoever this enemy is so this person these soldiers blast off of 
happen because every moment the Scorch spends on non-essential threats is an advantage to the other side. Our heroes need to stop wasting their damn time. It's almost as if their enemy, whoever he or she is, is gathering data with all this combating. So a short time later, Jessica Priest is like, yo, Redeemer, please tell me you left one of them alive. Oh, I did. But he's gonna bleed out. Okay, who's your boss? Says Jessica Priest. Don't you tell me you don't have a boss. Who is it? <laughs> There's more than one, says the guy. Well, who are they? The agency. And Kurt, Daniel's dead brother, is like, yo, the agency disbanded. I used to be a part of it a long time ago. Well, it's been reactivated with a new director. And how can bro hear and see a spirit talking? That's another eerie part right there. So who's a director, says she spawn? Well, Viewing from a safe distance is an agency operative, Charlotte Lynn, one of the rising stars in the new incarnation of the agency. This operation was her brainchild. She equipped each strike team with contact lenses, bioreader cameras, and subdermal chips for GPS tracking. So they get all the bio scans, and Charlotte knows that this guy is about to talk. So she executes the order. What's his name? Says Jessica Priest. And before he can say anything else, <laughs> you gotta admire that. That is juicy right there. But what Charlotte Lynn didn't tell the soldiers was the chip they implanted in them was not just for GPS, it was also a bomb. So now they're back to square one while this, whoever this agency leader is, has all the intel on the Scorched. So meanwhile, Lynn got exactly what she needed, data, the kind that will fast track her career with the agency by impressing her new boss. So she goes to her new boss and tells him that we got all the analysis and all the data and your assumptions were correct. There is a separate folder for the hunt that's a different character but we got all the data that we need for you to do your thing so the boss is like how many agents did we lose well enough to get you the information that you required the status and the capabilities of the scorch have been confirmed so it doesn't matter what we lost what matters is what we got so they skip the formalities and you can see this guy's pretty eerie so they look forward to working with one another and continuing their relationship so jason win <laughs> Why you always bring it back Jason Wynn? First you bring him in as Spawn, which makes sense and as a character. Then you bring him back in King Spawn as a disruptor. But now that there's dead zones all over the place, no one's got powers and he's looking eerie as before. And what's dangerous is him and Al Simmons and Jessica Priest, they all knew how to adapt with their training before they got their Hell Spawn powers. Now without it, they know how to adapt and get back to their roots and get dirty and jiggy with it. And I'm digging the way this is going here. It's a slow build, but we got to see how it goes, all right? And that is the end of The Scorched, issue number 27. What you guys think of the comic book? Comment below, let me know. Also, link in description if you wish to add this comic book and or any of our other limited print rated comic exclusives to add to your comic book collection support the art support the industry lastly this video is sponsored by coffee so if you'd like to buy your boy a cup of coffee link in description or donate to the super thanks but the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to rated comics youtube channel thank you again for watching until next time